Hello and welcome back to Tech for Less, the show where we talk about all the best tech you can get for cheap. I'm your host, Chris DeGraw, and today we're upping the stakes with our highest price point yet. We're gonna be taking a look at some of our favorites under $200. Let's not waste any more time building it up. Let's do this thing. This one's for all you dog lovers out there. If you find yourself missing your best buddy while you're away from home, the Furbo dog camera might be just the thing to tide you over till you get back. Full disclosure, I haven't used the Furbo dog camera myself. Although as a relatively new Shiba Inu owner, I'd very much like to. However, our amazing video editor Dan is a big fan and uses it every day. So I'll be relaying some of his experiences with the device. With Furbo, you can monitor your dog or dogs throughout the day via their easy to use smartphone app. But on top of that, you can also talk to them and even toss them their favorite treats, which shoot out of the device itself. For starters, it's got a super wide angle lens compared to a lot of regular indoor security cameras, which I really like. To send out a treat, just swipe up on the treat icon in the live feed. You can talk to your dog to let him or her know snacks are coming, but you can also set a snack call if there's a particular phrase or sound your dog is accustomed to hearing, or if they're trained to expect a reward when they hear it, such as a whistle. Some of Furbo's best features that I'm about to get into do require a subscription of $7 per month. But I think if you're the type of person who wants to invest in this camera, you're probably also the type of person that, like me, will find value in these features. So like with most indoor cameras, Furbo will record when it detects motion. It does this in 10 second intervals. But my favorite thing about this camera is that at the end of each day, it will compile a minute long compilation of the most notable events from that day and play it alongside a really happy little ditty that is both very cute and very shareable. Speaking of shareable, it also takes doggy selfies. Dead serious. Whenever your dog gets close to the camera, it will automatically detect the pooch, take a selfie, and send it to you in the form of an alert. Once your dog gets accustomed to receiving treats from you via Furbo, this may be a great way for him or her to let you know that they miss you, or just maybe that they're in the mood for a good snack. The Furbo dog camera sells for $199 and is without a doubt a luxury item. I mean, you don't need it, but whether you're feeling guilty leaving your dog at home, want to quell any worries you might have about Fido being alone, or just have an anxious dog that needs the extra comfort of hearing your voice and getting delicious feedback a few times throughout the day, you might be surprised how quickly you get used to this luxury. Let's face it, record players are cool again. Perhaps they never waned, but they've certainly been gaining traction over the last few years. But we have to face this too. Record players are expensive, the good ones anyway. When looking for a reasonably priced, good sounding, stylish record player that doesn't require a ton of working knowledge about the world of vinyl, it can be quite exhausting. Thankfully, the U-Turn Orbit is a perfect place to start. The Orbit is a belt-driven turntable as opposed to direct drive, meaning it uses a rubber band that wraps around both the platter on which the record sits and the motor in order to spin your record. It's built to work perfectly with your standard 45 and 33 and a third RPM records, and you can switch between the two by adjusting the band to the respective notch on the motor. One of my favorite things about this particular turntable is its customizability. It's affordable in its base form to be sure, but if you decide later on you want to either upgrade it or add more character, the Orbit makes that super easy to do. Ours has this really slick clear acrylic platter as opposed to the powder coated MDF one that the standard model comes with. And you can even get these gorgeous walnut or maple plinths, or bases. It's just as easy to swap out the cartridge as well, which will make the biggest impact on actual performance. If you're new to vinyl, you may want to check out our article about how to set up a record player in order to get the most out of it. There's some really important stuff in there about making sure your surface is perfectly level, as well as setting your tone arm in just the right way to hear both the left and right channels equally. Also, it'll just get you better acquainted with the somewhat bountiful terminology that you may never have heard of before venturing into vinyl. One thing to note is that the Orbit does not come with a phono preamp in its most simple configuration. If your amp doesn't have a phono input, you can upgrade to a model that includes the preamp built into the player for an extra $70, or you can just buy your own separately for as little as like 25. The U-Turn Orbit is a great entry-level turntable at $179 and absolutely shines among other record players in its price range. Plus, I mean, just look at it. It's kind of a work of art. Now, we've covered nifty colored lights on this show before, but nothing that comes even close to the Nanoleaf Aurora. 
These beautiful triangular light panels can be set up in any pattern you like to give your room the type of ambiance you'd be hard pressed to match with regular lights or even smart bulbs like the Philips Hue. Don't get me wrong, those bulbs are great. I own quite a few myself. But there's something about the character Nanoleaf offers that just really stands out. The Nanoleaf Aurora requires minor effort to set up. You can use the plastic separators included in the box to lay out how you want the lights on the wall to look before everything is set. Once you've decided on your layout, put up the first panel making sure to use a level. Then use the little SIM card looking connectors to attach each additional panel. Naturally, you can purchase extra panels, up to a whopping 30 in total, to increase your layout options, but the nine panels the kit comes with are more than enough to get you started. Once all the lights are in place, connect your power module and the rhythm module, and you're ready to get lit. These lights are super bright. In fact, the majority of the time, you'll probably want to keep these well below 100%. On top of that, the saturation is real. These are crazy vibrant. You don't have to go all out with the colors either, although that option is hard to pass up. If you're just looking to fill the room with some good reading vibes, you can do that too. I'm a big fan of the Nanoleaf Aurora, and the Rhythm Edition is the ultimate starter kit, selling for $200. If you'd like to help fund my concept video covering all the walls of my house with these guys, just hit me up in the DMs. I'll even give you a shout out. Whether you like it or not, headphone jacks are going away, and with that brings the need for truly wireless earbuds. Everyone knows about the Apple AirPods, and there are a few other solid contenders out there too, but I often come back to the Samsung Galaxy Buds, and that's for a number of really important reasons. For one, they are far and away the most comfortable true wireless earbuds I've used. The AirPods are great, if a bit dorky looking, but at least for me, they just kinda hurt my ears after a while. If I'm gonna be wearing these things on and off all day, I'm gonna need them not only to stay in, but to do so without sacrificing comfort. They also offer a longer battery life at roughly six hours per charge. When you do need to charge them, pop them into the small lightweight case and plug them in. But wait, there's more. You might be able to guess what I'm about to say next, but yes, these will charge wirelessly as well. Not only with most wireless charging pads, but also on the backs of newer Samsung phones via the PowerShare feature. That means you can plug your phone in and place the case on top of the device overnight to wake up to a full charge on both. That's pretty dope. I have to mention that they're not the best sounding wireless earbuds out there, although the sound isolation is pretty good. We have a video comparing all the top dogs, and you should definitely check it out if you really want to know what's going to work best for your needs. They also don't have the best microphone in the world either, as Apple's got the advantage with those long stems bringing the mic closer to your mouth. However, when you consider that the Samsung Galaxy Buds are just $129, compared to Apple's $200 if you want the wireless charger with it, or 170 for the Jabra 65T with better sound, but less comfort, there really isn't anything out there right now that offers a better value. One of the biggest downfalls of an Echo speaker is that, while they're great assistants and sound decent, it's much more focused on executing your commands than it is playing music with amazing audio quality. No one's walked into a room with an Echo Dot and thought to themselves, wow, you feel that bass? That's where the Sonos One comes in. As this is a Sonos speaker, you're already expecting great sound, and that's exactly what you get. When you first set it up, it'll have you walk around the room kind of waving your phone around for what they call true play, which uses your phone's microphone to analyze the specific acoustic properties of the room. It's really cool, but you're not gonna look cool doing it. Save your shame though, and tell anyone who's there witnessing the stance to buzz off if they try and poke fun, because the payoff is an EQ that's tailored just to your space, and the difference in sound quality gained by not skipping this step can be pretty significant. After that, it will bounce you over to the Alexa app so they can shake hands, which is a fairly straightforward process. And at the end of all this, you'll essentially have the brains of an Amazon Echo speaker with the spectacular melodic finesse of a Sonos Play One. Alexa can even control Apple Music starting today. No, really, like right now. You might be wondering if it works with Google Assistant as well, and the answer to that is, well, no, not yet. Although Sonos has promised they are working on it, what was originally planned as support for Google Assistant by the end of 2018 has since been delayed, with a recent blog post concerning this letting customers know to expect an update in early 2019. If you're looking for a comparable speaker with Google Home compatibility, you should check out the Google Max. Although more expensive, the idea is the same as here. 
The Sonos One speaker sells for $179 and works really great on its own, but also pairs seamlessly with most other Sonos speakers if you have a home theater you want to incorporate it in or a multi-room experience to add it to. Well, that's going to do it for this week's Tech for Less. As always, you can buy any of the products I mentioned today using the links in the description. Shout out to all you guys sharing your feedback in the comments. Keep it coming. I seriously love it. Even the mean ones, although not as much. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe so you don't miss any great Digital Trends content, and I'll see you all next week with a very special season finale. Can you guess what it is? Psst.